And with all your players, you kind of got to know a little bit of medical history because, you know, you're with them all the time and something happens, you got to be prepared to act. So if you have low blood sugar and you're running around a lot, it'll keep dropping lower. And then if it's high, you know, you're starting to feel sick, you'll throw up, and it just makes it a lot more extreme. Also, you could have something happen, you could seizures, that stuff, it makes it more dramatic, everything that's happening. We were in the same grade for the most time, so we were pretty good friends. Uh, we grew up playing together in sports, in baseball, football. Um, we were teammates for a while. And really, you know, we, you know, when I first got diabetes, he was kind of one of the guys that was a mentor for me to let me know how to do it, how to learn how to do everything. I was born, I was diagnosed when I was two years old, and my brother was also diagnosed when he was three. He was older, so my brother Mason, he mentored me, and then Jacob was in fifth grade, I would say, and you know, he was always at the nurse with me. I was walking with him, telling him, oh, just help do this, you know. We were always going down the nurse together, me and Jacob, and we did everything together. Competition, almost see who could do better and help push each other to be better. You just gotta be a lot more on top, like, on top of what you're doing. If you're not doing it right, it can affect how you play in the games. Exercise affects what your sugar ends up being, and that it actually affects you know, how you feel, and uh, sugar affects how you also feel when you're running and doing activities. Well, really we have to make sure we uh, eat the right things, uh, make sure we're on top of what we have to do, whether it's uh, uh, the drug, it's like insulin, uh, make sure we get the right amount of that, make sure our sugar is accurate and on point, and just you know, make sure we're healthy, in good shape, drinking a lot of fluids. Uh, before practice, I gave myself a little bit of my insulin so it stays to that level. And I always have my stuff on me, food or insulin, whatever I need to make sure I'm healthy and ready to practice. They sacrifice, and we talk about team before individual, um, you know, we before me. And I know it's cliche, but we preach that, we preach that, and the kids buy into that, and they sacrifice every single day to make this team better. Well, it really, it really means a lot. I mean, I've always grown up wanting to win, um, and it's always been tough, especially with the diabetes. And just to have this success um, with, the, with my guys, my friends, um, it just feels great. Everyone's got a lot of heart here, you know, they, they love football, we love playing together. It's this year, you know, we don't have the same athletes we've had in the past, but we've all played together for years, we all love each other and we're just having fun.